So this is the opening screen of Cavco Maker Plus and we're going to begin by opening a new job. Uh, I think we're going to have a, a work area of 100 by 100 millimeters. Uh, high resolution, I always keep it you know, full high resolution. Uh, I've got a fairly fast computer and uh, it's just a good practice to have. Um, you, of course you can have the datum or the start of the program in any corner you wish. Uh, normal for CNC rotors is in this bottom corner here. If it's a CNC milling machine it'll be in this top uh, left hand corner here but it really doesn't uh, matter whatever your preference is and in this case because it's a uh, circular pocket we're going to start in the middle press OK so we're going to come here to the circle drawing tool left click and come to the, if you notice when you come to the the center of your material the the cross cursor turns to a target so Cavco recognizes okay well you we think that you want the center so we'll indicate that we'll snap to the center and indeed if you notice up there in the top right hand corner x0 y0 so it has snapped to the center of the work uh, so we're going to left click sorry so we're going to left click hold down and just draw it out and actually that's probably too big um, what I'm going to do I'm going to put an odd number here for you I'm going to say 50.8 now 50.8 millimeters is exactly two inches so we're going to have a two inch diameter pocket written in millimeters press ok and we can come out of that now to get to the tool paths you can either come here and select this or you can come up here and select tool paths it's whatever your preference is so well we could I will open this for you to it's a 2d operation well, actually to be specific it's a two and a half D so we're going to come down here area clearance so we'll click on that which brings this wizard up uh, selected vectors is selected there's the vector it's selected so that is what we're going to machine uh, start depth uh, zero I always use zero as the top of the material um, I, I, do, I very rarely vary from that finishing depth uh, we'll go oh we'll go 10 millimeters um, okay now, so now we're going to pick a tool so we'll go to add a tool uh, now this is a question that uh, I get a lot of um, and I'll do I'll do this uh, for you and that is a lot of people say to me oh but um, we can't find the eight millimeter um, end mill in the tool listing uh, where do we get it from well I'll show you so I'm going to well I'll take this six millimeter and then I'm going to copy it so then I end up with two six millimeters so then I pick the upper one because I'm going to make that a larger number in the listing and I'm going to 
I'm going to come here now to edit. So yes it's an end mill but we want an 8 millimeter. so you just alter that to 8 millimeters. bit of a space there maybe right, 8 millimeters. it's a slot drill end mill it's fine um, okay diameter So we're going to alter this to 8mm diameter. Step down. Now, look, this is not set in concrete here. You can have whatever you want. I, I'm going to say 2 millimeters. So it's 2.0 millimeters. Uh, step over. Um, you can either do it in a percentage of the diameter. Or in my case, I'm just going to set a figure here, two millimeter step over. Um, RPM 15,000, it's about right. It can be 15, 16, 17, or even 18,000, depending on the material that you're actually going into. Feed rate, uh, 20 millimeters a second, that's okay. Plunge rate, six millimeter. Uh, so that's okay, but I normally use a ramp anyway, but that you can fill that in <clears throat> You can actually fill these figures in to suit the Material that you're actually going to machine at the time So you press ok and then that particular 8mm tool is in your tooling list so that is how to create a and an end mill that isn't in the listing and how to adjust the figures in the shall we say the tool wizard but for our job that we're going to do now we're going to pick the six millimeter so we're going to say select and there it is so I'm just going to pull this down and we're going to alter these figures now to suit the machining job that we're going to do. Um, I think two millimeters is fine. I could do 1.5. Okay, 1.5. You know, this is the first cut that we've we're going to be doing with this particular C newly finished CNC machine. So we're going to say. Uh, a step over of 1.5 you know I could go to I'll go to two millimeters and this the step down I'm going to go 1.5 uh, 20 millimeters that's fairly slow uh, in the control that I'm using I can alter this uh, to start off slower and then ramp it ramp the speed up if I want so I'm gonna say 60 millimeters per second plunge rate 5 15,000 rpm uh, at the moment uh, I am not allowing the controller to uh, adjust the spindle speed I'm doing that directly on the VFD so that's what I will be doing so I'll leave it at 15,000 uh, tool number I always leave it at tool number one, it's fine. Now I always, practically always use an offset raster that is, um, and it's going to be starting from the center inside and work its way out. I'm not interested in independent finish. The, you know, if I was working with aluminium, I may put that in there to get a real accurate finish. But what I will use is ramp moves. To I like to ramp the tool into the material, nice and gentle. It's a ramp angle of 10 degrees, which is fine, fairly shallow. It's fine. Maximum ramp length. 
uh, 10 millimeters that's fine minimum minimum ramp length uh, 10 millimeters so that that is all fine now this one is the the zigzag height stat uh, I, I like to start probably about three millimeters which is an eighth of an inch roughly uh, above the material so that's fine um, machine safe 10 millimeter that's that's fairly fairly normal for what I use now then define the material it's 19 millimeters which is three quarters of an inch so we're going to OK that and notice the screen has changed a different sort of shade that's indicating that OK uh, Cavco has sort of uh, accepted all everything that I've put in it's checked it and it, everything appears to be fine so the next thing to do is to name this program or piece of G code that's going to be written. So we're going to say um, test 01. Um, you know, normally if you was doing quite a large job, you would be putting tool information in here, the size of the tool, um, and what have you. Uh, calculate now. And it's as quick and easy as that. Okay, so we can come out of that. And the next thing we want to do then is to save this file to a flash drive. So to save this program to a flash drive, you just come here to this, this representation of a floppy disk. Some of you may not know what a floppy disk is. <laughs> okay, so there it is, test01. Uh, a one uh, it's into the J drive and it's uh, G code millimeter tap the particular control unit that I am using which is an SMC 5 this is the G code that it understands without any hiccups so press save Thank you for joining me for this Kafka Mega Plus tutorial for beginners and that is how you make a simple pocket and also create a tool in your tooling list. And don't forget there is a 5% discount code underneath this video in the video description area for Kafka Maker, Kafka Maker Plus and Cavco, the main program, and the discount applies right across the board.